watch this. Shayla Liro Marcelo was born in the Philippines in 1970. Although she relocated to the US at the age 6, she was raised in a family where his child's career path had been chosen for him or her. Her mother, though an industrious woman who engaged in all kinds of business from dock farms to rice mills to sugar processing, wanted her children to become professionals. Shayla was expected to become a lawyer, but she decided to follow her mother's path and choose to study economics as a first degree and bagged a master's degree in business administration at Harvard University. Hungry to make a change and pursue her dreams, Shayla, while attending Harvard, spent 30 hours a week engaging in community services and learned all she could about running a business by providing consulting services for several businesses on campus. Tired from the tedious lectures of the day, Shayla headed home carrying two heavy shopping bags. The telephone rang. She had to drop one of the shopping bags to reach for her phone in her purse. The voice on the other end was her mom's. She was hysterical. It didn't make much sense until Shayla heard the word heart attack. Shayla raced home and found out that her father, while going up the stairs, had fallen and had a heart attack. It was really disturbing news and Shayla kind of blamed herself. Her father and mother had been invited from the Philippines to help with taking care of her first son, Ryan, while Shayla and her husband juggled a lot of things. She got married and had Ryan while still attending Mount Holyoke College. Her stress doubled as she struggled with caring for her baby and a sick father while also juggling college with part-time work. It was difficult accessing affordable care and support for her son and sick father. This painful experience gave birth to the idea of creating a platform where families can access services for their care needs. Shayla had her second son while studying for a master's degree and had to juggle the task of being a mom, wife, and student with her entrepreneurial goals. She forged on, determined to allow nothing to stop her and eventually founded Care.com, an online marketplace that professionally matched families with caregivers. Care.com now has more than 15 million members across 16 countries. As at 2019, Shayla Lero Marcello is estimated to have a net worth of $7.48 million. Now, here's the thing. Most people in the world naturally look for whom to blame for whatever happens to them. If you operate with this mindset, most opportunities will elude you. You see, life sometimes throws lemons at you because it wants you to make lemonades. Mary Roberts Reinhardt said, and I quote, Every crucial experience can be regarded either as a setback or the start of a wonderful new adventure. It depends on your perspective. Here's my story. Growing up in a small village, I suffered rheumatism for the first 17 years of my life, and because I was not healthy, I couldn't get involved with most things boys of my age did. Then, I turned to books. Since I couldn't play soccer or fight the way every kid in my community did, I turned to books and read, just to keep myself happy. Many years later, however, I look back and notice that most of the kids who grew up together have either become touts or they are just average individuals due to the nature of the society we grew up in. Yes, the society I was born into was so bad that it takes the grace of God for you to grow up in such society and amount to anything. That grace came to me through sickness. And yes, it was the most terrible experience of my life, but it also was the source of grace for me. Because without the sickness, which kept me indoors, I'll today be a cultist, just an average guy on the street. But because rheumatism kept me indoor and forced me to make books my source of entertainment, I read a lot. And as a result, I came across information which changed my life. What are your problems? What are your headaches? Don't tell me that it's all painful because I already know that. I've gone through hell and I know it's hot. But one thing I know is that at the end of the tunnel, there is light. If only you can believe that your present situation has in it the seed that can lead you into the next level. If only you can see your problem and difficulties as a temporary training ground to prepare you for a better future. If only you can sit back and think of how you can turn this problem to an opportunity. 
Napoleon Hill said, and I quote, every adversity contains at the same time a seed of equivalent opportunity. Maya Angelo said, we will sometimes have defeats in life, but you can have defeats without being defeated. You could fail without being a failure. When you see failure and defeat as merely part of the process to get to when. Another common myth is for you to think that you're the only one who has some problems or to think that your life is more difficult than that of others. Some people even think that those who become successful in life simply have some luck along the way. Well, luck does exist, but you can't get it inside your room. To be lucky in life, you have to be courageous. To be lucky, you have to stand up and confront your excuses. To be lucky, you have to stop pointing fingers. Katia Buchamp, co-founder and CEO of Bridgebox, said whatever it is that you think you can do and whatever it is that you think stands between you and that, stop making excuses. If you want to turn your life around, you have to stop making excuses. You have to be courageous and somehow believe that there's a seed of prosperity in your present problem. Shirley Lero Marcello turned her problems to wealth. You can do the same. If you believe, you can. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.